Alright guys, Brady here back with part 2 of our uh, spoon making process and got a pretty good shape going, got our bowl dug out and I think we're ready to start sanding. Normally I just hand sand these but uh, I'm going to be using just a palm sander today. And we'll see how that goes. In fact, this is the uh, first one that I've done that isn't my hand, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to start with uh, 60 grit and work my way up to, let me see here, about 2,000 or so. This depends on how far you want to go up. You go too high and it doesn't, you're not really gaining anything, so. Anyways, I'm going to get started on that, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Alright, so here we are after we did the uh, 60 grit sanding on this. And now we've got a, now we've got a spoon. But it's looking good. Got it all rounded out and everything. It was a little hard to get into the bowl here. So I had to do a little hand sanding there. But I was able to get most of it with the uh, palm sander. So it's looking pretty good. We still got to do a lot more sanding. And there's still some edges in there, but we'll, we'll get those all rounded out and everything. So, uh, I'm going to keep sanding and uh, catch you guys in a bit. Alright, here she is after uh, a little bit of sanding. I just, I did the 60 grit, and then I went to 100, and uh, my last one I did was 150. So now we'll go up to, I think it's 320. Yeah, 320. And uh, we'll keep going up from there. I think next one's a bigger jump. I think it's I think it's 600. And then 800. And then uh, we might go up even higher than that. I don't know yet. That's what she's looking like right now. I really like the, uh, the grains on this one, if you can see that. Right there. Yeah. All along the side there. So. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sand this down the rest of the way to our final grit and then we'll be ready to uh, do what I call uh, grain training and that uh, we'll probably get into that in another video it's basically just training that grain so it uh, if it gets wet it's not going to fray like if you've seen uh, a lot of Walmart wooden spoons after they get wet a few times the uh, the grains will start to pop up and uh, fray so we're gonna go ahead and sand this and I'll show you what that looks like uh, once I get done with that and then we'll be ready to train the grain on this one so catch you in a bit all right so I finished sanding this I got it down to 2500 grit and it's really smooth well right now it's not that smooth because I uh, rinsed it with a little bit of water and that got these grains to pop back up I don't know if you can see that on here You can see a little bit right there, there's a little stick. 
sticking up. Right there, some. But, yeah, you get a little water on these and, uh, those greens will really start to pop up, which is no big deal. So we're going to go ahead and sand them back down. But uh, I'll leave that for another video. And, uh, yeah. Just uh, keep in mind you, you want to go with the grain when you're sanding these and uh, progressively get higher in your grit number. Start with the most coarse whether it's 60, 40, 80, and then uh, go up to 100, 150, uh, 320, you know, as high as you want to go. But, uh, so that's it. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.